We do have some breaking news to tell you about because the New Jersey Attorney General has just released body cam video of a deadly police shooting of a community activist in Patterson earlier this month. Yeah, now G. Seabrooks worked to reduce gun violence and was having a mental health crisis when officers say he came at them with a knife. Seabrooks' death has sparked outrage from other community activists. I would assume reporter Sonia Rincon has been going through this video this afternoon. She's in the newsroom with the latest and the breaking news. Sonia. Yeah, Bill, we have been going through hours of video showing a long and increasingly intense period of negotiation with Najee Seabrooks. Police officers officers, even his own mother pleading with him, and ultimately the police shooting and killing him. People are shot to kill me. I need an escort right now. The first officers responding are not heavily armed. They are welcomed in by family members who called them. They tell police Najee Seabrooks may have smoked something, making him act in a way they've never seen him act before. I'm not here to assume or to judge you. But they can't get him to open the door. His mom pleads with him. Seabrooks even calls 911 while officers are there. Yeah, uh, partner. Uh, sir, we have multiple police officers at Mill Street. Hours into the negotiations, police hear a crash. Water begins flooding from inside the bathroom. That's when things quickly escalate. Najee Seabrooks is armed with knives and tells police he's holding a loaded gun. Video from other body-worn cameras shows officers coming in with bigger weapons, aiming them at the door. You're bleeding. Let's get some help. You're bleeding, dude. Let's get a ambulance. It then shows Seabrooks lunging towards officers, and that's when they open fire. Drop it. Again, all of this has just been released by the New Jersey Attorney General's Office, along with a timeline of what happened on March 3rd. The release coming after calls for transparency and vigils, some accusing Patterson police of using excessive force. Now, G. Seabrooks worked for an organization that was dedicated to stopping gun violence in Patterson.